Um, hit the like and the share button if you haven't done so already, people. Make sure you're subscribing. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. What happened yesterday, David? What happened to Chelsea? 10 men for 30 mm. minutes and you couldn't get the W. Don has said, by the way, Don hasn't shown up all day. Hasn't even been in the group chats. Don said after the game, it's because Nottingham Forest are a really, really, really good team. I don't think he had the energy when they beat Liverpool, but he did <laughs> yesterday. Um, break it down for us. What went wrong for Chelsea yesterday, David? We can't score. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. We had chances to win the game, especially when they went down to 10. But um, to be fair, their goalkeeper actually was just really good. Like, I'm not sure if you've seen it. Like Cole Palmer did this touch where he knocked it around the defender. I don't. I actually don't know what he did, but the ball ended up in the right spot and he shot it. And the keeper saved it and it's gone right back to Palmer. And Palmer's put it in the corner and the keeper's got to it again. Like... Their goalkeeper was really good. Jao Felix, Mr. Sitter, um, and Cuckoo, Mr. Sitter. Um, and also, big up Robert Sanchez, because without Robert Sanchez, we would have lost that game in the last 13 minutes of added time, by the way. Ridiculous. How a joke. Um, I don't know. It's a weird one. Like, Forest are actually like disrupt a lot of the top six this year because defensively they are actually just set up like very very well they are hard hard to break down but it's just key once you get those chances like take them because once because when it was one nil to them i was thinking oh this is gonna be awful because they're now gonna they've now got something to hold on to but we we scored and made it one one and we were just waiting for that second goal and it just never came so as long as you if you score first against forest i think you beat them if you if you let them score then it, it's a it's a whole different kettle of fish. But what I do find I quite know. funny. No, do you know what I mean, Roms? Like you like you weren't worried when we weren't worried before they scored. And then they scored and you went, oh, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a long day. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be a long day, you know what I mean? But well, Nuno, 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 Nuno has got them playing how when his wolves team are at their best, it's very similar. He's got them to that level where hard to break down. When they get a lead, they can hang on to it. And th that go back and look at his Wolves team. Even when they're in the Championship, they went to they went to Anfield in the FA Cup and beat them. They always stopped Man United. They had some good results against every single one of us for that three or four year period where we had them playing well. Yeah. What I what I do think is quite funny though is how like people are celebrating us drawing against Forest. And, we, and to be fair, we've actually never beaten Forest since they've been in the Prem, which is wild. But I've got Arsenal and City fans celebrating us drawing, which tells me. We're going in the right direction, so I'm happy. I'm no, happy. I can David. I can look at no 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 no. Giuseppe, let me finish. Let me finish. I can take a seat back and go. There are things we can improve on, and there are things we will improve on because we are like four. We are six, seven game weeks into the season. But the fact I've got other rival fans watching my game, hate watching, going, oh, they drop points. Get in, get in. I know, I know, we're going in the right direction, and I'm happy. I'm happy about it. First thing, David. Yeah. One, you are going in the right direction. We can all agree that when you see Chelsea, they are. Like we, we'll be honest. Second of all, no. The reason is, is because this has happened to you twice now this season, where a big game happens and you've got Chelsea fans twerking, like the Wolves game, or oh, and last week when you beat when you beat Brighton and you're twerking and that, and then the following week, what happens? You just don't seem to do what you need to do to win the game. Uh, like I, I know what you're saying. Nottingham Forest are a decent team and that, but you got to be beating them, bro. You've got to be beating them when they go to 10 men with another 30 minutes left of the game and you're Chelsea. Uh, let's be honest. Yeah, no, no, no. But the, the, the thing is, is like, we all know that my squad's biggest issues, we don't have like a certified like goal scorer when he needs one chance, he's going to score it. So again, I'm almost expecting these kind of games where we create chances and we don't take them. I'm like, I, again, I am not one of those no, fans who's going, David, even, David. When we beat, even when we beat Brighton 4-2 and we beat Wolves 6-2, I'm not sat there going, oh, we're going to win the league. We're going to do I'm just not <laughs> like that. Like, naturally, like, I just progress slowly. Like, I still think we're finishing fourth. David, like, you, I just want everyone to bear that in mind. But You're well, you're yeah. an anomaly then because I feel like the general consensus with the Chelsea fan base is that, you know, you're saying this. there's still games where it could be on a nice edge and you don't have that number nine that will guarantee you a goal. The context of this season is you've actually been scoring freely. That and it's been quite spread. So I think in isolation, this game, 
feel like the reason why your fan base was underwhelmed because your previous five, six games, I think Bar City, you have been scoring in abundance. So that's where I think the disappointment comes from, to be honest. But yeah, I feel you have, I actually feel you have games where you're re very reminiscent of us in Klopp's early days where you're going to win five threes and four twos and whatnot. Because I think you're conceding what average a goal a game, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, so yeah, I think you're going to outscore teams because you're, you're attacking abundance. But yeah, you're going to have a lot of games. I don't think you have many games like the Forest game, put it like that. Mm. I, I, what, I do think, what I do think is quite interesting as well is like, Forrest showed up and said, we aren't going to let you have any space. <laughs> like, Brighton showed up to us yeah. and went, we are going to try and we are going to try and put pressure on you. Br Bright like, Brighton Forrest was dumb. Went, Brighton, yeah, Brighton yeah, was stupid Brighton, though. And it's not even, it's not a dig at Chelsea. Went, they just, yeah, no, I, I agree. And I think, I, it sh for me, again, it's always great when your rivals don't win. But in reality, I don't think we learned anything about Chelsea that we didn't know. You you were the better team. You had the chances to win. One of the notes I put down during the game, I didn't really say it on the, the match reaction. I was more focused on Man United, was that there was an opportunity where, ne where, where, where Jackson kind of got the ball. I think it was a mistake from Forrest. And he got the ball in a really good position. And his touch was poor. Didn't even really get his shot off. That was where I was like, as much as Jackson's going to score you goals, that is where if you had a Eucharist, that's where if you had an Osaman, that's where if you had a Haaland, that's, a, that, that's always going to be the difference between a Jackson and a striker of that level. When they get those half chances, those opportunities, they invariably miss where Jackson, and he's done it in the game against Crystal Palace. I want to say he did it in another game where you dropped points, and I'm not too sure who, who you played. Bournemouth. Where he, he right. won that game, but he missed. Yeah, but yeah, in Bournemouth. But he gets those opportunities, and you go, wow, oh, they're going to win it here, and then he doesn't quite take it. Early chances he'll put away. Maybe if you 2-0 up, he'll score a goal. But that's I think he's a good player, Jackson. But I just looked at that as well and thought that. But I, again, I, I agree with you. I was sort of watching it and thinking, this isn't a, a damning day for Chelsea. Yep, they had a stinker in front of goal. 100%. But that isn't going to happen every single week. You're, and maybe I'm thinking about it from a United perspective. The performance is there. And if the performances are there, you you can take something from a defeat as long as you're not losing after all your good performances. You can grow from what you saw yesterday. You can become a better team from that. The one thing that's annoyed me today, though, is the amount of journalists criticizing Jaden Sancho. I, I, I watched the game. I can't fathom why Jaden Sancho is the target. I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I thought, and I'm someone I thought who saw him have team. loads of bad games for Man United. And I watched him yesterday. And he created chances. He played well. He held on. To, he was good. I didn't get why the media was attacking Jaden Sancho. I couldn't I thought, understand I it. Man, I thought minus Madwaki's goal, I thought Madwaki was far worse. Like I like Sancho when he was getting the ball was like I, Ola Aina is is a good fullback and like. Sancho didn't get past him every time, but it was like he did get past him a couple of times. And he, when he couldn't get past him, he he released the ball at the right time where he wasn't holding up. Whereas Medwaki sometimes is very much like head down. I don't care who's in front. Well, and sometimes oh, it's a good thing. Where it's just like he just believes he can be any fullback no matter who it is, and he'll just keep going. And then eventually he beat him the one time, and then he he took the goal. Whereas like Sancho is a bit more like cerebral about where he's like, all right. I've not got him in the right spot, so I'm just going to pass it off. Which is like, which you know, having having a mix of the two wingers is good. Um, and also, there's one person who's actually been performing quite well, and he's only done it in sub appearances. It's Mudrick. I can't believe I'm saying this, but somehow he almost looked a bit composed the other day. Um, and it was against Ghent, so I didn't want to say much because it's Ghent. Yesterday, he put in two unbelievable crosses that should have won the game. And it just wasn't like it, it wasn't converted, which is you know it's unfortunate. But big up, big up Mudrick, big up Sancho, big up Madwake. The team's just playing well. I'm just happy my team's playing well because I haven't had this for like two years, and I actually I don't hate my manager. I don't hate all the players. It's just nice. It's nice. I'm happy to be here. I'm four points off the top of the league. Am I going to win the league? No, I'm not. But I can still look at the top of the league and see like I can see it. I'm I'm not eleven points away after. After after seven games, cool, we get so it. We get it. You're happy with your manager. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is painful. It's like it's like you've just been. I don't know about you, Staffy. It's like uh, I've never really been in this situation. I don't know if you have, but like you've just been left by your girlfriend, 
you're feeling lovesick on the train and you see this couple all loved up, hugging and kissing and looking happy. Oh, I love you, man. Isn't it? Like, we get it, bro. You love your manager. Yeah, you're Nick, happy Staffy, with the progression. Staffy's been left. Staffy's You're been left by a woman. We see now. We get it. You get it. You get it. Oh, Terry, joke to say that. You're watching Valentine's. Like, it's Valentine's Day, and you're like, shit, I don't have a date. No, we have all been there. We have all been there. Listen, it's Valentine's, and you, you don't have a date, and you're just going to work, and you see a couple making out on the channel. I'm like, bro, just get a fucking room. I don't want to see this. This is David <sighs> right now. I don't want to hear that, that, that love story you have with your progression and how good your football is and how good your manager is. Yes, I'm jealous, guys. People are saying in the chat, no shit, I am jealous. Because the way he described everything, he was just describing the evil twin of me, the opposite of me. Oh, we're not 11 points. I don't even know how many points we're behind, but it could be 11, could be more. Oh, we're progressing. We're not progressing. Oh, I'm in love with my manager. I'm not, I'm not in love with my manager. So we get it. We get it. I, I think we're eight, eight points. I think we're eight points. We're eight. No, no, hang on. In fairness, we're only six, we're six points behind Chelsea. Six, not 11, six. No, he six said behind us. Yeah, we're on eight points. We're not you're 11 on... behind the top, something like that. Yeah, oh, I said, I said top. yeah, 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 yeah. We're ten, we're ten off top, and we're six behind Chelsea, and we're we're only two of you had top them. <laughs> <laughs> we're awful. <laughs> but no, Chelsea, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, looking all right. You know, they, they're looking. They're, there's still loads of things to improve and get better on, but David, they're looking all right. Yeah. What happened? With, what game. happened with Thing as well? What happened with that uh, Jackson? I'm hearing like I was reading that he might be getting banned for slapping for slapping the player. Oh, that was after the game, wasn't it? No, yeah. I don't know. Like, like, just sitting it's down, bro. Right? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's not even a. Do you know? It's not even a slap. It's just like he literally just goes like like that in his face. Like it's absolutely nothing. If he gets banned for that, yeah. I mean, yeah. He, I, I, when I heard he slapped someone, I, I, I when I heard he slapped someone, I thought, oh, what's he done? When I saw it again, I as a man, if somebody got, if I was out, if it was, we were out in a street fight, right? Never want to be in one, but if we're out in a street fight. And someone does that to me, I'm not saying to the police, oh, arrest him, he slapped me. I'll be embarrassed. I'll be embarrassed. Do you know what I mean? It isn't like it's Alex Pereira punching you in the face and you've you got to get in trouble. It, yeah, it weren't a slap. There should be no one yeah, banned exactly. after that. I actually going to say, I loved it. I love what Williams did. No one got hurt. It was great. It was just a bit of argy bargy. It was, I, I love a bit more. of yeah, you, you do. See more of it. Yeah, I agree. No, also, yeah. also, leave my Colwell. Hey, that guy loves a scrap. I don't know what he's got a screw loose. That guy's gonna get a red card. That's that's baby David, Romero. I was gonna actually ask what... you about him for that performance. Where apparently his performances have improved. Right, I only watched that. Right, apparently he's got right he's now. Got... Oh. Right now, he might be the best centre back in the league. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. Before, before, well, before certain before people think that. Certain people before in the fan base think that. Let's know that, David. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's the meme right there, by the way. Yeah, no, do you know what? I was, I was ready to cook Don today, not over Chelsea, but over yeah. his fan cam. He did on big up Chelsea fan TV. Um, but I'm gonna save that for the next time he's on. And next time he's on, it's I'll tell, I'll tell, I know Roman and Don are close. I'm gonna tell Roms about it afterwards because I know it'll wind, uh, wind on up. He just, I was watching all their fan cams and then Don's came on and I was like. Oh my god, sorry to make me laugh, right? And I can't wait to share it. Can't wait to share I it. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> you know as well. I know what you're gonna yeah. say. Oh, I hope his neck ain't hurting. I tell you, like that's what I was thinking. But um, original name, what does that mean? Sometimes sometimes people write comments, and I just think I don't get it. Make it make sense. Mandem FC. Always oh, Chelsea. Yeah, it's Chelsea. Yeah. They're just do you know what? It's good to see a bit of fight back in a team. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, it's it's good to see it. We need more of that in football. Oh, the original name, yeah. But Arsenal, the only reason AFTV become AFTV is because I think Arsenal Football Club, I think Arsenal Football Club own the copyrights to Arsenal in that way. So um, there we go.